Okay, I'm gonna go through week one and just show you where everything is. So at this point, we're in the week one module, so you'll see the resources tab. And you'll see the terminology overview. These PDF documents are all of the articles. I went ahead and downloaded them and uploaded them. I know I should do permanent links, but I wanted to make this easy for you guys. So you can download them all at once. Um, this is the assignment information for your Twitter reflection and participation. And then this is the what is writing and then the Dropbox for both of them. And they're both due Sunday at midnight. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into the week one overview just to go through and you're going to see a lot of coming soon, coming soon because I'm working through those videos. So you'll see everything here and that way you can understand what's going on. So the overview is what we're focusing on this week. So we're really starting with what is it that we need to know um, to talk about composition pedagogy so that we can start to build on that particular foundation and understand the directions that the understanding of and the teaching of writing went from really 1974, the field is not very old. Uh, we're gonna build a vocabulary of writing, hence the terminology and the resources page. We're gonna build a vocabulary of composition. What does it mean when we talk about teaching students writing? Uh, we're gonna explore the foundational theories and explore the concepts that inform how compositionists teach writing in higher education. The goal here, because I know some of you are high school teachers, is to start to also get at if that aligns with your interests, the ways that some of these conversations should start to filter down to K-12 and the teaching of writing. Um, how is it that students are taught to write? I know that my son goes in, he's in second grade, he goes into class every day and they fix grammar and they correct it. Um, he's not great at it, which kind of makes a lot of sense because that's not something that I emphasize. But is that writing and that's how he understands writing so then when he asks me what is this that you do and I'm like well I teach college and he's like oh yeah what do you teach writing oh so do you teach people who don't speak English I'm like no uh, most of the people I teach speak English as their first language well what are you teaching them <laughs> like he doesn't understand I mean he's second grade but how writing is used in his classroom and his exposure to writing is informing how he's trying to understand what it is that I do on a daily basis. So if you watch these videos, you'll probably think it's really crazy because he's like, you're talking with big words, like what's going on? Um, so that's where we're really working through what do these big words mean and how are they contextualized and how does that develop a field? And then how does that develop ideas that we can actually work with? So what I have is a module checklist here, the things that you need to do. So first, create a Twitter handle and join me on Twitter if you already have an existing one, which I know because a lot of you have worked with me before you do. Join me. Um, the hashtag is hashtag compped, C-O-M-P-P-E-D-M-U, so composition pedagogy all shortened, compped, M-U, um, and you'll find me there. I've already posted tweets, so it's really easy to find. A couple of other people have already posted tweets, so they're really easy to find there. Browse through the terminology overview. It's mainly to help you as you're doing the readings to make sure that you're understanding what the terms mean and where they're coming from. Browse through the resources. Again, this is not a you have to read all of these. These are information that is probably very valuable to you, so I'm providing it to you. So then the assigned readings, Fulkerson, Hockey, Bartholomew, Bitzer, Flower and Hayes, New London Group. Um, I'm going to have videos for each of those down below. So what you'll see is week one overview. Instead of coming soon, you're going to see this. And then you'll start to see these videos fill in as I film them. Um, at the very bottom of this sheet, you're going to see ideas and prompts for tweeting. They're not requirements, they're just ideas. And this is basically how each module overview will work each week. So our goal this week is to really focus on and get a grasp of what are the ideas that are being dealt with in the field and how do we need to understand them and then how does that help us? And then you'll write a, and this is where this first one is already becoming really complicated. You're gonna write a what is writing and you're gonna reference just one of the theories. You can reference multiple if you want to but it's only two pages and this is not one of those write as much as you possibly can it's I want two pages I want it to be short and concise I like concise hence Twitter and really start to think through how complicated writing is because it is and it'll be fun um, and then you have your Twitter reflection due so these are the two things that you have due on Sunday I don't expect reader responses for each of these readings what I would recommend you start doing now is just keeping brief annotations. What is it that you're talking about? And I'll show you what my annotations look like for each of the readings um, as I go through the video so you can see them right there. And that way you can start to build your annotated bibliography now so that when we really get into that project, you've already got a big chunk of it done. So I don't want these as we're going through them during the week. I want to see them at the annotated bibliography check-ins and that's it. Okay, so 
this is the overview. You're going to read some articles. Um, you are going to post in Twitter. We're going to have lots of fun discussion. You're going to write the what is writing paper. You're going to have a Twitter reflection and participation. So I will see you guys for the most part with our interactions on Twitter. If you have specific questions while you're reading, use my handle at N-P-F-A-N-N-E-N, -N -E -N, and then I will get notified on my phone and I can respond quicker. So feel free to do that. Um, if you follow me, I will follow you back, and then you can send me direct messages, and I'm happy to communicate with you either way, or obviously you can also email me. Okay, so as you're going through these, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you on Twitter.